This is a demonstration of Bernoulli's principle. I taught for 24 years in West Virginia, and our home in West Virginia had a heat vent that was on the floor, and so the heat, the hot air came up through that vent into the room. And one day the kids had a balloon, and that balloon was balancing in midair above that heat vent. And I thought, well, how in the world does that work? And uh, it's actually quite interesting. So this is the phenomenon. We've got, we've got a stream of air that comes up vertically, in, in the case of West Virginia, through the heat vent. And then you've got a, a rather light object, in that case a balloon, in this case a foam ball, that's perched and being balanced and levitated by that stream of air. The principle is that the uprushing air holds the ball up. There's some momentum transfer when that the air hits the bottom of the ball and it, it holds it up. So that part is not so mysterious. The part that is mysterious and was to me was what happens if that ball gets off-centered? So let's say it moves to the left and this shows uh, the uncentered si situation with the ball to the left and the stream of air going past it on the right. Well, why does that ball want to move back into that uh, rushing air? You'd, you'd think that it wouldn't want to move back into the air and it would just fall off, off to the side. But what happens is that Bernoulli's principle comes into play. Over here, over here, there's a lot of air on the right side that's rushing past the ball. And Bernoulli's principle says that if you have a high velocity, a high air speed, then you have a low pressure. So this air on this side of the, the right side of the ball exerts a smaller amount of pressure on this ball than the atmospheric pressure does on the other side. So these, this arrow represents the atmospheric pressure pushing the ball to the right, and this represents the less than atmospheric pressure that pushes, tries to push the ball back to the left. The atmospheric pressure from the left uh, wins and pushes the ball back into the centered configuration where now you've got um, equal pressures on each side and the ball is happy. So you can take this up to, to any scale that you want to, including this uh, rather large scale demonstration. And that is Bernoulli's principle.